I have to go now, father. You knew this day would come. I have to go and become a man. Vault 57 has done me well. Is this thing working? Is it working? Did I finally- God, did I finally get this thing working? I think I did. What's happening, everybody? Ha, I told you guys I would make it out to the wasteland. Finally! Finally to be a man and make it to the wasteland. I'm gonna do some soul searching out here. I know you guys are all stuck back in Vault 57, wishing you were hanging out with me right now, but you know what? You guys just aren't there yet. You're not on my level, I guess. <laughs> hey, thanks for giving me this camera equipment, though, man. The surprise was was very grateful, or I was very grateful, dude. Thank you, guys. Took me a minute to get it going, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've already kind of looked around through this neighborhood, and, uh... Didn't really have much to, to report. I got, you know, a couple 10 millimeter pistols. I, I hear that I'm going to find weapons and ammunition and things everywhere. So, you know, I just kind of rummaged around through the neighborhood and found a couple of things. Got this baton. I'm hoping to whack one of those dirty mutant things that I always hear about back at the vault. But I haven't ran into anything really yet. <sighs> It's all just pretty common, man. I'm excited, though, man. I could, I've never been more than 10 feet outside the vault door, and now here I am. <laughs> I'm actually on the surface. It's crazy. Anyway, man, I'm going to do my best to, uh, to like, diary what happens out here with me. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not going to send tapes home all the time because, you know, it's just... I, I can't record everything that I do, guys. I mean, come on. I know you guys want to experience it being that... I'm the first one out of all of us, our crew, our clique, our soldier, our folker gang, you know what I'm saying, that's actually made it to the wasteland, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to make you guys proud. It's just, I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of depressing out here, to be totally honest with you guys. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Oh, no, I mean, at least I haven't ran into any mutants yet, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the important thing, and... And I, I do have some weapons on me, I guess, but... Oh, I just keep thinking about that man. What was his name? Oh. I want to say his name was... No, that's not right. His wife. His wife's name was Nora, I believe. He was the one with the baby named Sean. God, I remember he used to talk about him all the time. I remember he told me about the day he was talking to Sean before the bomb actually hit and how he was talking to the salesman and just his stories are so vivid it was almost like I was there what's up buddy what's up buddy oh Sean he loves rockets have you seen these these are beasts right here I love rockets myself I couldn't imagine, man. I I, I just could, I couldn't imagine seeing this place in its heyday and and seeing that bomb go off and then having to to leave it. I mean, what's going on here? What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. Shit blew up, man. Shit blew up, man. Detonations. And Oh my god. Pennsylvania. My god. Help! Help me! Oh my god. We help me! We need to get to the ball. Oh fuck! Help me! Now. Help me! Residents of Sanctuary Hill. Where we go? Where the hell do we go? Oh my god. They ran right up the hill and they went into the vault. I mean those were Those were people that experienced this firsthand. That's Absolutely astonishing. Son. Infant, adult male, adult female. Yeah, yeah, we're all right okay. here, son. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Good luck, ma'am. Let's do this. What's gonna happen to all those people outside? The <laughs> They're all dead, dude. That's pretty much it. They're dead. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna go survive the nuclear winter in my vault. In Vault 57. Aha. I don't even know what to think about this place yet, and that's kind of... 
I guess the excitement and the scare about it is, is I've only read this stuff. In, oh, there's something up there. I've only read this stuff in books. What is that, man? I guess I'm gonna have to get used to things like this. Oh, guess I should check him for something. I oh, just got some bottle caps and some ammo. He's got a pipe pistol, some pre-war. What is this? Oh god, I've never seen one of these in person. Mm, it's a mongrel. I've heard that there's a lot of mongrels and mole rats around here, and I'm not looking forward to finding one. I saw a rad roach back in the subdivision over there. That was pretty bad. I just whacked it with my baton, dude. I mean, I did what I could do, but... Uh, I should probably be a little more cautious about being out here. Oh, the red rocket. Oh, I remember some stories about hearing that, dude. The red rocket. That was like the chill hangout spot. Dude, you rolled on in and you're picking up chicks and just doing stuff. And, uh, it's, the, it's the coolest gas station around. What the hell is that? Oh, there's a dog. Ooh, easy buddy, easy boy. Hello. Hello, my dog friend. Hello. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? I took a boy. You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Let's definitely hang out more. The Red Rocket. Hmm. What's this? Stem packs and Radex. Yes, please. I like meds, man. You never know what's gonna happen. What if I stepped into a puddle that was irradiated water? That would be bad. I'm gonna take that newspaper so I can read it later when I take a dump, I'm thinking. Dude, dumps are nothing nice out here when you're eating this type of food. I was told basically everything out here is salvageable, man, but there's different ways to deal with it. You eat some certain foods and you get some radiation in your body. You gotta counter that with Radex and Right Away and you gotta cook, you gotta, you know, I mean, there's just certain things you can do to survive on what's out here. I'm, I was just given the task, as you guys all well know, by the overseer to come out and see what's happening out here. My father wasn't happy, but you know what? Oh my god! What the hell is that? Is that a mole rat? Oh, I've never seen one of these before. Oh, kill it! It must die. I don't care. Ew, 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 ew. These things are like rats. They're infested. With just disease. Ugh. Fuck. You okay, boy? You okay? Wow, there's another one. Wow, there's another one. Holy crap. Well, I think teaming with you is a really good idea. Probably one of the best ideas I've had. See that dog just rip that mole rat in half? Well, I guess this is pretty much what this is going to be for you guys. Welcome to the real world, huh? Jeez. Here I am in the wasteland, I'm already fighting mole rats and... Wow, dude, that was... Not okay. Let me check my pit boy, I gotta get a uh, different weapon out here. I'm gonna take this... Take this 10 milli right here. Let's pull this bad boy out. Keep ourselves safe. I can already tell this might get a little more intense than I thought it was. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, well, you know, we're out here. We've, we're have we having experiences. This is going to end up being like one of those old reality TV shows that we've always heard about, isn't it? It's going to be weird, man. I'm, I'm going to call it, you know what? Let's call it Vault 57 Wasteland Stories. Because, you know, I, I can't record everything for you guys. I don't have the, the battery power. I don't have the need or the want to record everything that happens out here, but... I'm going to try to get you guys updates on what's actually happening and hopefully one day we can all come out here together. We can experience. I'm going to try to set us up something, man. I'm, if I can find a place to settle, you know what, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to try because you know that we're not going to want to stay in that vault forever, fellas. And, and we're going to need to get out of there. So me being here is just a good opportunity, I think, for me to kind of try to set up shop and set up a base and 
See if we can hold something down that provides safety for all of us, and I'll collect an arsenal like you guys have never seen. I think it'll be really, really good. I think it's going to be positive. Wow, what is this? Look at all this. Look at all this we have out here. I mean, I have unlimited time to just be out here, the overseer said. just He said, learn. Find out what's happened. What is that? What is that? What is that right there? Oh my god, what is that? It's looks like a giant mosquitoes, dude, and they're like eating something. Let's see if I can kill them. Oh. oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, I feel like a badass. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a badass. Those mosquitoes died under my hand. And it was good. It was real good. I'll probably shit my pants if I ever see a death claw, though. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I just feel feel like big man on campus being out here. You guys know how it's just been a dream of ours since we were kids, man, to get out here in the wasteland and here we are. I might have not been ready for what I'm going to experience out here. But I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to get through this and come back for you. 